Hello and welcome back to Household Homes! Previously, we designed a new studio home on the islands of Windenburg for the Saunders. Today, we are working with a style that I've never really done before. So, this is gonna go smooth. So today's household is a new addition to Newcrest, and considering that it's empty, it's a first for the town. Introducing Gerald Forrest, a lifestyle blogger and professional photographer. His detailed coverage of lifestyle events such as the annual Sausage Festival have earned him a strong following online. Now Gerald has a partner, and here he is. This is Cody an independent songwriter that rose to prominence after his stint on The Sim Factor. His top hits include the world famous Never Heard Of It. Well, I guess you've heard of it now, okay moving on. Despite his young age, he's made a relatively successful career out of his passion for music. Having met through mutual interests some time back, the pair is now ready to move into a residence of their own. Sponsorships from big brands and family have allowed them to be relatively flexible with their options. Regardless, they've chosen a small piece of land for their new home, and would like it to be something that's bang on trend. I'm not sure I'm the right person, but okay, we'll give it a go. This is what I came up with. Welcome to Industria, my first proper attempt at creating something industrial. Now, if you've seen the rest of my builds, you'll know that I'm a fan of sticking to modern, let's put it that way. So something beyond that is a challenge for me. I chose to go with a loft style living, so as you can see with this floor plan, although I tend to see that more with apartments, so I'm not too sure what they call this. Is this a loft house? I don't know, but anyway, let's run through the house now. Cardboard wings time! Here is the kitchen and dining room, so as per usual. I did a bit of research as to what industrial is, and I generally see it as something of dark brown, black and white. So when you walk into the house, you're greeted by a mirror that looks like a window grill, in my opinion. And then if you turn around, you'll see the dining area. We've got a nice wooden table accompanied by a large chandelier. It's kind of modern, but I felt like it fit in this situation. And then we have the kitchen area. So a couple of unique things I feel in this kitchen are the lights underneath the cabinets. Uh, that's using one of the wall lights, just adjusted accordingly. And then the standalone sink, which I really like, uh, that stands on its own. <laughs> and just, I don't know, it looks really interesting. And I feel like as opposed to doing a tabletop sink, this fits an industrial vibe a lot more. Moving around, this is the living space. On the left, you'll see the study space, which is made out of a floating table, showed it by two bookshelves. Uh, these come in the base game, I believe. And it's a simple area for either Cody or Gerald to just do some of their work. And then this is the living area. So pretty open and spacious. We've got a piano and guitar area for both Gerald and Cody to kind of just practice their music. I think I forgot to mention, Gerald does play the piano. So that's the romantic side of him coming out. My favourite part about this as well is the double height area because it allows for some exposed light bulbs to hang from the ceiling and I just feel it brings even more industrial tones into this area. And some additional brick trims on the walls just to bring it all together I feel. And moving upstairs, welcome to the sleeping area. Now I know some people find open sleeping areas a bit weird but let's just say Gerald and Cody were okay with it and they were comfortable with having this in their house. You have the bed with some mismatched end tables. I like this suitcase one, I feel like this really fits industrial. The other one is custom content. Um, generally speaking, quite a bit of custom content, so there's that. We have the fireplace as well, and a little lounge chair. I say little, it's actually the EMs, I think. It's some designer lounge chair or something. 
And then we have the bathroom. So this is a bit difficult to show in video, so I will try to explain it. What this is, is an open concept bathroom. We have the industrial tones through the sink and just some of the pieces that I chose to use. The important thing to mention is the standing shower. The shower comes from the ceiling and it's like a one of those that comes directly down on you. And then what I did was I used one of these custom content glass bathroom dividers, that's hard to say, and turned it in a way that looked as though it was a door left ajar. So that way, it doesn't come across as too open. And finally, we have the outdoor garden. So this is a private outdoor space for Gerald and Cody to just hang out. My favorite thing is again the light bulbs, which at night give a very glowing look <laughs> to, the, to the space, I guess you can say that. I feel like this is something that you would use when there's like a bonfire or just need a, some light in, at night. It, it looks fitting, I feel, to this space. And that's it. So hopefully this first attempt at industrial has worked out. I have no idea. Maybe I messed it up completely, but uh, well, hopefully <laughs> Gerald and Cody are okay with it. If you would like to download this house, follow me on Tumblr where I have more information and the download link there. <laughs> what am I saying? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on another video. Goodbye!